Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my top 10 favorite makeup products and this is a mixture between drugstore and high-end product. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So my first product is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This is a 24-hour wear foundation and it has a medium to high coverage um, finish. I really recommend this foundation Who's who for anyone who is wanting a foundation for a budget because foundation can run very high in money and yeah my next favorite product is a concealer and it is the maybelline adrivine concealer it's super affordable as well also a drugstore product it has a nice coverage medium to high i would say and it's very buildable and does not look cakey on my face whatsoever and it also sets really nicely it does not crease and will crease on me at least my next product is a highlight, and it is the Tardis Pro To Go Little Mini Palette. It's very nice for traveling, and if you open it up, it has a really nice mirror, and it also comes with a not really, sh oh my god, my dog, not really shimmery. It has a little bit of sparkle in it, but it comes with a bronzer, a highlight, two highlights actually, and it swatches very nicely, as I'll show you here. I sorry, I have swatches all over my hands because I was swatching with my friend earlier. And um, I really recommend this palette. It's I got it at Sephora. It's a little bit of a high end product. It was in the twenty dollar range, um, but it also the highlights have really nice coverage as well. It does the bronzer, and yeah. This next product is also a highlight. Sorry, guys. I absolutely love highlights. I think a lot of people do. I know that highlights are kind of the trend here at 2016, 2017. Um, but if I would pick a highlight, it would be the Marie Luminizer. It's very nice. I'll open it up here. And it has a really nice mirror as well. And it also has a nice highlighter. I'll swatch it for you guys. It has, it's kind of, it's really good for a lot of skin tones, light to medium, I would say. And it has a lot of gold reflex in it as well as silver, silver kind of, I don't know. It's just really nice and pigmented. And I really recommend this. I wouldn't say it's super high end, but I also wouldn't say it's like drugstore. This next makeup product is a setting powder as well as a bronzer, and it is the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. I would not say that this contour shade is a contour. I feel like it's more of a bronzer, at least for my skin tone. Um, and these colors are very pigmented. I'll swatch them for you guys. Here's the bronzer. It's nice and matte. And then you have the setting powder, which also, of course, is matte. And as you can see, the setting powder is very pigmented and adds a nice brightness to my under eyes as well as any other place that I would add concealer to. Um, um, this is very affordable. I got it at my local CVS and I really recommend. This next makeup product is from Benefit and it is the Goof Proof Eyebrow Pencil and it's so nice. Um, and on one side it comes with a spoolie, which I need, and the other side it comes with the eyebrow pencil thing. And this is very nice and pigmented. It's not too pigmented well, where your eyebrows will look too fake, but it's pigmented enough to have a nice fill into your brows. Um, I have the number two. Wait, yeah. The number two, as it shows there. But um, it's super nice from, I got it at my local Sephora, and I think it was in the 20 range. My next makeup product is from e.l.f., so it's very affordable. I think this was around $3. Anyways, this is a cream eyeshadow for smudging, and I got mine in this really nice gold, copper, brown kind of thing. I'll swatch it for you guys here. Super creamy and very pigmented. On the swatch I show you guys, it looks a little bit... Um, a little bit patchy but it's really not in person it's very buildable and it looks really nice on your eyes and shimmery and i don't know if it's a limited edition i went to the cvs store and uh tried to get another color but they said that they don't don't sell this anymore and that it was limited edition but if you guys can find it let me know in the comments because i'd really love to know if this is still available the next makeup product I'll show you is the Milk Makeup Mascara, and this is honestly the best mascara I've ever owned. If you want a drugstore mascara, I would say the, I think it's the Maybelline New York Mascara. I love that mascara. I know some people hate it, some people love it. I love the uh, Maybelline Mascara. This mascara is super nice um, for any lashes. I feel like my friend who has super short lashes works really well on her lashes, and I have pretty long lashes, and it works well on mine as well. Um, this does not clump my lashes. It looks super nice and pretty, and I really recommend this. I think I got this at Sephora, and I think it was around $25, um, but yeah, I really do recommend this mascara. 
The next thing is the Beige Cosmetics Carly Bible Collaboration Eyeshadow Palette, and it comes with 10 eyeshadows and 4 highlights, and it comes with a nice mirror as well. Um, I absolutely love the shadows and the highlights in this palette. The highlights are amazing. Um, I think I swatched one or two, um, but the highlights are really nice and pigmented. Also very buildable if you want a nice subtle highlight or a bam highlight. Um, it comes with four matte shades and I think six shimmer shades. Yeah, six. And um, I do wish there was more mattes, but it is a more shimmery palette, I would say. And um, it comes with like a light color, a crease color, a... Um, or a transition color, a crease color, and a darker color, and I do recommend this palette. It was like around $20, something like that, but super nice and recommend it. Oh, and by the way, if I had this palette with me, my Morphe 35N palette, I recommend Morphe palettes, very affordable for a lot of shadows, but I left it at my friend's house, so <laughs> it's not with me right now, but I recommend the Morphe palette as well. Alrighty, you guys, so the last things I'm going to be showing you guys are these three lip products. I know it's supposed to be top 10, but I cannot leave any of these lip products out. We have a lipstick, a gloss, and a matte liquid lip. Um, the first one I'm going to show you guys is this box of matte liquid lipstick. It is so pretty. It glides on. Let me just put these up in the background, though. Um, it Definitely, it glides on super well. It has a nice coverage. Very buildable if you want a full coverage liquid lipstick. Um... And it's super lightweight, at least I feel like it's lightweight. I do only put on one layer. Um, and this is, I what color is this? I kind of forgot what color. It is the Centerfold. Yeah, I think it's called Centerfold, but it's so pretty. And this I got at my local Sephora. If I were to um, recommend a drugstore liquid lip, because these are all kind of from Sephora, um, I would recommend the NYX Lingerie Set. Those are really nice. They're a little bit drying, but nice. Here's a liquid, or not liquid, well, this is a lip gloss from Sephora, the Sephora collection, as you guys can see. And this is in Nude Alert. It's a really nice liquid oh my god I keep saying liquid lipstick a <laughs> lip gloss and it's very pigmented I swatch it for you guys um I know I have swatches all over my hand sorry that's kind of annoying but I do swatch it for you guys um and I on camera it looks very patchy and streaky but on the lips it looks so pretty um I feel like all the products kind of look bad right at this moment but i promise you guys at least it works really well on me let me know if you guys try any of these out though anyways i do love these this uh lip gloss nice coverage super pretty color as well it looks pink on camera but it's more of a nude pink um here is the a popular lipstick but i feel like it's so nice it's a matte lipstick from Cl clinique in blushing pop i show you the name a little bit later um so pretty this honestly is my favorite lip product out of all three of these i have to say um it glides on the lips it has a really nice coverage i'd say full coverage um it's not streaky it's not patchy super nice i would say here's the name blushing pop i would say this is kind of high-end I feel like anything from Sephora is kind of high-end um but I think this is in the $20 range but I swatched it for you guys so pretty really nice color I feel like it goes with any look and I do recommend this lipstick for you guys so it's the end of the video um I went through editing the video and I was gonna put the prices of all the products in the description but I realized that I cannot find all the prices because some of the things that I showed you guys I just can't find on the internet for some reason but if you guys want to look them up that you guys can totally do that anyways I really want you guys to comment down below your top 10 favorite makeup products and if you don't have a top 10 favorite makeup products then comment your top 10 favorite things in general I really actually want to know because I think it's really fun to watch these types of videos swatches all over anyways um but yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and click the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this or like anything on my channel. And yeah, why don't you just, you guys can check out my other videos on my channel because I have slime videos and other things. But that's it for the outro and yeah, bye guys.